to you. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Andy. This video is structured completely different to how I had planned. Obviously, this is kind of about Christmas. Originally, I was kind of like, you know what? I'll make a vlog. But the 24th and 25th is kind of like a day for the family. So what happened was I was taking a lot of kind of B-roll, which I'm pretty sure is a technical term, type clips. But I still wanted to kind of show you guys what a Venezuelan Christmas would look like. And I just overall kind of wanted this to be a memory for, for me and my family, for you guys and everything like that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna talk you through and just show you my Christmas. So first things first, some of you might not know, is that my dog's birthday is on the 23rd. So of course we celebrated that first. Gave her this huge, like, huge, huge for a medium dog size dog cake. Um, and then the 24th traditionally is the day which Venezuelans celebrate Christmas. On the 24th we would usually either go out for dinner or go to like a Venezuelan party or something like that but with Covid that is impossible. So this year our plan was more to focus on the Venezuelan traditions, the Venezuelan food, the music and everything like that. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys did on Christmas. Did you celebrate it? Did you spend time with your friends and family? And also remember to like and subscribe because my next video is a very much requested one. Just saying. First things first, it was straight food coma for like three days straight. So in the morning we started preparation for our lunch which is carne mechada which is kind of shredded beef but you also have like cubed peppers and you make a sauce and it just tastes insane. And then of course with that we had to make arepas and arepas are probably the most kind of traditional form of food to the Venezuelan culture. It's kind of hard to describe but you make it out of harina pan which is that yellow packet that you'll see. But we started preparing that and you fry it on the pan and you put it in the oven and everything like that. White cheese, made some avocado, oosh. And then of course, we could not help to have a glass of ponche de crema. Put a little bit of ice in a cup, pour it out over. Mm. And then during the 24th, of course, we just watch Christmas movies and listen to music, dance and everything like that. And then for dinner, a jackass. Ajakas are kind of made from the same harina pan, but it's got kind of olives, it's got some raisins, it's got the meat inside, and it's just, it's so delicious. It's wrapped in that kind of banana leaf. We also made um, ensalada de gallina, which is like a chicken salad, but it's got potatoes. We put some green apple in there, some peas. Welcome to Christmas 2020. So it is Christmas Day. I made a banana smoothie. There aren't really any designated plan in my family. We just like to kind of spend time together. It doesn't really matter what we do. My brother's got a Christmas TV show on at the moment. So I'm going to bring in his cup of banana smoothie. I don't know how many kind of talking bits I'm going to do throughout today because as I say, you know, today's kind of a day for my family and everything. Hopefully it'll make you feel festive and um, for those who maybe weren't able to go home, make you feel home. And then of course Christmas Day came around presents under the tree, the cards on the Christmas tree. I kind of turned into a little kid again because it just kind of, you start seeing all the presents and all you want to know is what's inside of them. I just want to... Hey guys, so I look a little bit different. Christmas jumper. But yesterday we made some old wine and it was really good. And we have so many bottles from like previous years. So I'm gonna make some and then kind of a uh, serve yourself if you please, which I think is gonna be really cute. But um, yeah, so let's make some old wine. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about.
But on the 25th, we go with our traditional English Christmas dinner. Now that's turkey, now that's veggies, potatoes, roasted potatoes. My mom does the best roasted potatoes ever. Bread sauce, your cranberry sauce, your gravy. When I tell you food coma, I tell you food coma. Just quickly, I forgot to say, one of the biggest parts of Christmas is the pudding. Christmas pudding, mince pies, ice cream, bandy butter, and all that good stuff. I don't care, I know Jules, you're watching this being like, you don't like mince pies, but they're delicious. My, my makeup is everywhere, but we clean the kitchen and we're gonna have dessert, but it's been a great, great night. Obviously, I haven't filmed very much, but hopefully you're enjoying the little clips that I have taken throughout the day. Hopefully you're enjoying- Hello! Hello! <laughs> Okay. I mean, what can I say? Like, both of those days were just all about spending time with each other. The day just went by so fast. It was almost like the day was ending and we just wanted more time, which is always a good sign. You know, Christmas isn't a time of the gifts. It's a time of spending time with your family. And that's kind of one of the best things that you can do, especially during this time when I feel like it's so rare and you know, you can't visit your family as much. I'm incredibly grateful to have been able to spend it with my family. So my love and everything goes out to those who weren't able to. And hopefully your Christmas was still filled with love and you were able to kind of call them or anything like that, hear their voice. And I just wanted to say, get ready for more content because your girl is ready. <laughs> But yeah, a very Merry Christmas to you all. Bring on the new year. So remember to like and subscribe. Let me know what you're excited for in the new year. And I will see you next week. Christmas. That's what Christmas is for.